King George, King Henry, and the A7R series. What do these things have in common, you ask? Well, they all made it to a Gen 5. Will this be a Lord's song? Or will it be a Royal Flop? Join me in my A7R5 review. Hello there. There are three guarantees in life. Death, taxes, and a Sony camera with decent autofocus. My name's Jackson, and here I've got the A7R5. So you're probably wondering, why the A7R5? Why you would invest your royal pennies towards a camera that has the same sensor as the last iteration? Well, I can tell you, the versatility that this camera brings is what makes it very unique in a very crowded market. Let me just start going through some specs. The EVF, 9.44 million dots. We've got the brand new recognition target feature. We've got the different creative looks by default. So for those that are doing run and gun photography, don't really have much time for editing. That's gonna be a great new feature. Got 8K30 for those that wanna do that hybrid shooting. So anyone coming from a previous R model, like the R2, this is gonna be a huge upgrade for the hybrid capabilities of this camera. So we've got a really capable camera here with a new processor that's gonna drive it with that ISO, that little bit higher, a little bit less noise in, in the photos as well. For a JPEG shooter, I think this will be an incredible camera because it gives you the chance to do pretty much everything in camera without even going towards a computer. So Sony have tried something a little bit different with the screen. It's not only a variable screen, but it's also a flip screen. So again, Sony have gone out of their comfort zone a little bit and tried something a bit unique with this camera, which I really like. I think it's a good overall setup, just ergonomically as well. They've got the new menu design that is from previous models like the A7 IV and the A1, which is a lot to like. Some great new features that hybrid shooters, photographers, videographers alike are really gonna love is you've got your CF Express A slash your SD slot. So you've got two of those, which is great. So they're both convertible, whether you want it in CF Express or SD card. Another huge feature, which is probably gonna get looked upon by a lot, but the full HDMI input is huge. I think for a lot of video shooters that have had problems with cords before, this is gonna be a bit of a game changer. It's gonna help you optimize your setup without worrying about the different cords all the time. I think that's a really good feature. So as I mentioned before, an exciting implementation into this camera is again another tracking feature. We've got your recognition targets. So you've got from people to animals, We've tested that out on birds, we've tested that on planes, and it's been very, very successful. But probably the biggest surprise and, and the biggest plus was it was able to track the bird's eyes, which we were really stoked about. We were very excited about that feature, and it's a great implementation by Sony yet again. Um, and we're excited to see this in all the models, but this is a really good first step. So full credit to Sony on this one. Um, we've got the creative looks as well. So when we did take it out to do some street photography, we could apply them instantly to the JPEG. We then also dabbled in a bit of architecture photography. I think that's where this camera is gonna be huge for a lot of people out there that want to change things up. They want to try different things. They might want to do real estate photography one day, architectural the next. They might want to do street photography. They might like to crop in and do some wildlife stuff. This is where that camera is really gonna come in handy. Again, another exciting thing, and probably the first of its kind, is the 8K30P. And why I say first of its kind, because this is a 61 megapixel resolution camera. It's a pretty damn impressive thing that they've achieved in 8K video mode. Not only that, you've still got all your tracking available. Pretty damn good. The other thing worth mentioning too, is the ability to shoot sports with this camera, because You've got things such as a no blackout mode, which is incredible for a 61 megapixel camera. So now we're seeing the ability to crop, but get the performance benefits as well. That is something we're truly excited about too. So if you truly want a unique experience and you want to offer yourself as much versatility as you can, you can't really go wrong with this camera. You've got your cropping ability with your high resolution sensor. You've got your new processor delivering dynamic range and that tracking ability. For those that just wanna make the experience as seamless as possible, you've got that creative filters as well, which is a nice feature. For the videography guys, you've got your 4K 60 or your 8K 30, which is again, very impressive. The list goes on. 
So we're, what we're seeing here now is a very refined, highly tuned overall package delivered by Sony. And I think that's well worth the money. So that's enough from me. Now, if you have any other questions on this camera, give us a call on 1300 431 431. And again, my name's Jackson. Thanks for tuning in.